Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to bind data into a drop-down list using Web API. And here we got the final output. Notice the header tags, horizontal line. After that, the drop-down control is binded with the employee names. This is the Web API. We have binded this web API data into this MVC index view page. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC web API application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Web API drop down list binding is a project name. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting Web API. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, the first thing I'm adding ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Right click the project name. Add ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Select that one. Employee Model. Click OK. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option, EF Designer from Database. Click Next. Let's select a, let's create a new connection. I'm adding SQL Server name. After adding SQL Server name, now I'm selecting the database name. New DB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection. Is succeeded okay okay and here we got our connection string and the connection string name is a new DB entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file click next and from the database objects I'm expanding the tables as well as DBO the table name is the employee table I'm selecting that one Click finish. And here the employee entity data model is added to our project. And this employee table contains four columns. Now my aim is I want to bind this employee name column from this employee table into a drop down list control using web API. So after adding the employee entity model to the project, next open Solution Explorer. Let's minimize this references folder. And notice in the project, the employee model is added to our project. Now let's add a class to this models folder. Right click the models folder. Add class. Let's add the class name. The class name I'm adding EMP class. Click add. And here we got the EMP class. Now in this EMP class, I'm defining only the properties, public properties. Public int. The column names I am adding. EMP ID and the EMP name. Let's add those ones. EMP ID. Get set. Public string. EMP name get set. After adding two properties, EMP ID and EMP name in this EMP class. Now let's open Solution Explorer again. Now in this controllers folder, I'm adding API controller. Right click the controllers folder, add, select the controller. And I'm selecting web API controller empty. Add. The controller name is 
TMP DDL add and here we got our API controller the name is the EMP DDL now first add the namespace using the project name is MVC underscore web API dot I'm adding models folder after that let's create the method public ihttp action result get emp drop down list is a method name now in this method i'm adding my connection string new db entities nb is equals to new new b new db entities after that I'm adding iList class. In this iList class, the type of the element I'm adding EMP class. EMP class, let's create an object. EMP object is equals to ND, which is a connection string object, dot the employees entity dot include method. The includes method takes a parameter as a string path. Now the string path here I'm adding our table name which is an employee. Let's add that one. Employee dot select x column new EMP class method. Let's add the properties EMP ID is equals to x dot EMP ID, comma. The second property EMP name is equals to x dot EMP name dot to list method. In this to list method, I'm adding a class name EMP class semicolon. And the last one return ok method I'm adding the EMP object semicolon that's it we have written the code in the controller API controller to fetch the employee name from this employee table now let's check the output of this API Google Chrome And here we got the output of the default home page and the local host which is a domain name after that I'm adding the API forward slash the API method name which is a EMP DDL controller let's add that one enter and here we got the results of this EMP DDL API web API in the XML file format now the last step I want to bind this EMP name into a drop-down list control on the index view page for that we require the MVC controller and index view page so let's switch back again to the coding part stop debugging Now, now open solution explorer and the same controllers folder I'm adding this time MVC controller right click the controllers folder add controller I'm selecting MVC for controller empty add the controller name is EMP controller add And here we got our controller EMP. Now in this controller, the first thing I'm adding the namespace using the project name is MVC Web API dot models folder so I can access the classes from this model class from this models folder. After that, in the action result index, I'm adding I enumerable. Now in this I enumerable, I'm adding the class name which is a EMP class EMP class. 
let's create an object emp names is equals to now after that to call the web api controller for that i'm using http client the http client is belongs to the namespace using system.net.http namespace now i can access the http client it sees an object is equals to new http client let's see dot base address the base address of the web api is equals to new uri this uri method takes a string parameter so let's add the double quotes the uri string is the path notice i'm adding up to api forward slash i'm not adding the controller name of the api so let's add here semicolon after that after that to get the controller of the api let's declare a variable a read api is equals to hc dot get async method the get async method takes a string uri the request uri so i'm requesting the api this controller name api controller name i'm adding here the api controller is this one emp ddl controller after that read api dot wait method now let's get the results from this api emp ddl for that i'm declaring another variable result display and display is equals to read api dot result property if a result display dot is success status code if the data is read from this emp ddl api controller variable the read data is equals to result display dot content dot read as async i list i'm reading the data from the emp class so method read data wait dot wait method after that i'm adding the i enumerable object em in emp names is equals to read data dot result semicolon in the else part in the else part if the web api is failed to fetch the records i want to get an i want to display an error message emp names is equals to enumerable dot empty in the empty the t result i'm adding the emp class let's add the model state dot add model error is a method takes two parameters one is a string key if the string dot empty the string is empty i want to display the the exception error no records font and the last in the return view i'm adding this i enumerable object emp names that's it we have consumed the web api into this mvc controller and now we require the view page of this action result index now before adding the view page to this project we must build the application otherwise we'll get an error build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded let's close the output message now highlight the index action result right click the mouse add view 
the view name is index only in the template I'm selecting empty and the model class I'm adding EMP class click add and here we got our index view page also now the first thing uh, in the index view page I'm adding the I enumerable now after that I'm adding center tag let's close the center tag after the headers change the header instead of index I'm adding binding data into drop down list using web API MEC tutorials horizontal line now after the horizontal line to display the data into a drop down list I am adding the select option element and closing the select option sorry option now the first option I am adding the default label value is equals to selector disabled employee names is a default label for the drop down control after that to fetch the, all the EMP names from the table for that I'm using for each loop for each add for each loop variable item in I'm adding model let's add the option tag inside the for loop at item dot I want to bind EMP name the column that's it we have done the complete coding part we got the adware.net entity model the class and web API controller MVC controller and last we have the index view page to display the records now before run this project we must change the controller name open solution explorer expand the app underscore start folder notice there is a route config.cs file open that one and here the controller is a home which is a default one I'm deleting that one our controller name is a EMP controller let's add this EMP this year that's it and the action result is the index view page which is this one let's check the results Google Chrome And here we got the final output. Notice the header tags, horizontal line. After that, the drop down control is binded with the employee names. This is the web API. We have binded this web API data into this MVC index view page. That's it.